What is going on guys? Today we are looking at all of the SBCs that are currently available in FC24. So let's get straight into it as we have lost a few big players. Zidane has gone, Maldini's gone, Robbie's gone. So let's have a look and see what we can do with this then. So straight off the bat, I've realized from the recording, by the time this is out, Solanke and also Pulisic will be gone. So there's, there's not a lot we can do with them. There's no point putting them in the list because you can't complete them anyway. Then we have got some other player of the month. So we have got Verts, Verts, and we've got Brobby, we've got Vlahovic, we've got Abamyang, and we've got the La Liga player of the month. So are these actually worth it? More than likely, we will get the Prem player of the month this week, I think. Do we get them on the Friday? Normally, we get a second one by now, so I'm surprised we haven't had one. I know the voting's in there, whether it's going to come very soon, but I thought normally they overlapped. I don't know. So, let's have a look then. So, at the minute, Verts is coming in at 58,000. Not terrible for an 88. We have got, in fact, if I show you as well, that might be even a little bit better. We have got a Bamiyang coming in at 172. I'm okay with that, but knowing that he had another SBC is the problem that I'm like, okay, it's double the value of what that radioactive was. So, it is kind of just a... If you didn't do him, it's kind of our fault for that. We have got the La Liga player of the month coming in at 90,000 for another 80 centre mid or 88 centre mid. Brobby's coming in at 48. We'll kind of get onto him. Flahovic is coming in at 60. So in terms of them prices, Abamyang, I would say, is good value. If you have obviously done the radioactive, which I believe was about 80,000, you don't need to do him. So... It technically would be no value to you. So it depends on your situation. I think it's good value for a striker. I don't think it's the best or a must complete, especially with the strikers we've got out right now. But it's definitely decent value for a card that can play. We then obviously have Vlahovic. He's one of the newest ones. He's got 28 days and is 66,000. Again, in terms of Serie A strikers, if we was to have a quick look at obviously what he's got, he has got an 87 that's coming in at 25. That's something you've always got to consider as well. We've got the Traveller Plus compared to the Power Shot. Now we've obviously got the Traveller Plus patched. The Power Shot doesn't look a bad option, to be honest. And we've only got really a normal upgrade on him. So it is just a plus one. So if we were to look at maybe Serie A Strikers as well, you've obviously got a decent amount of top end. But I'd say Vlahovic still puts himself in a good position. You've obviously got a Martinez. Liao's very expensive. Oshiman's definitely up there. Informal road to the knockout, I think that one was. Then you've obviously got a Lukaku, far too expensive. Di Natale at 315. And then I'd say you've got someone like a Vlahovic. So in terms of kind of pricing, it definitely isn't bad. The thing I would say is, I would probably go for the Inform instead, purely on that Traveller Plus basis. It still works from what I played in Champs yesterday. You can still do it, but it's definitely not as overpowered in the, the terms of 25 yards out. You can't just ping one every single time. It is a little bit like that. Now, in terms of Broby, I, I hope I'm saying his name right as well. I always thought it was Broby, to be honest, but I, I really don't know if I'm saying it right either way. So let me know down below because I can imagine I'm butchering it. So in terms of him, he obviously had his Player of the Month 86. He's then got his new Player of the Month as an 87. Then this week, we got the FC Academy Attackers, meaning we can get a 90 version of him. So for instance, if we was to have a look at him, you can go for this 82 that is free to do. And he is one of the better ones to choose. I don't know if you'd rather do two others and have the 87 instead. He does mainly get the passing bonus of anything. Pace is a plus four. Shooting's a plus three. So in terms of the upgrade other than maybe having the four star four star rather than a free free but he does also have the rapid plus as well whether you consider that better than the power header and acrobatic that is always an option so i think for me if i was going for him i'm going to still keep him in a great value of an sbc because i could then go choose two of the 90s he's absolutely on form at the moment so I can imagine he will get a bigger card. There's some cards in there from the Academy Attackers where I'm like, I've, I haven't even heard of you. They haven't got an inform. They haven't got a special. They haven't got an out of performance. So realistically, they are the ones that you probably want to do because they're not going to get another upgrade. Whereas this man is absolutely on fire. Inform, two player in the months, no, no chance of stopping. He could potentially hit that 90 way before the rest of them. So I would still say this SBC is definitely worth a look at. 
Verts, on the other hand, what was he coming in at? It was about 60,000, I think it was. He is, we can go down to it, coming in at 58,000. For of 88 sentiment, I, again, I would probably go for him as nothing else to do. I think it's decent value enough. But whether you'd really want him in there, I think the problem I've got is when we look at the others, there is other competition, but definitely a little bit more priced kind of out of that running. Whereas when we look at someone like Everts, the biggest competition he's going to have is going to be Musiala. And he is absolutely slapping that competition at the moment, regardless of what version you go for. 100k for the 89. You could even just go for the 86 whether you would or not, 248 for the 91 with technical plus, there's always a better option in that exact same position. Whereas when you look at like Vlahovic, he's a certain type of build. Verts and Musiala are very, very similar across the board. So that for me, I would go in between. I'd and yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep him at nothing else too because I don't think he can offer too much either. Same with the Liga Player of the Month. I think he's a nice card, but he's definitely not going to be in many people's kind of top anything. To be honest, it's gonna be very standard. He's coming in what at ninety thousand? Did he have the incisive? He has. Oh, he has pinged pass. If he had incisive, maybe. But pinged pass. I'm not about that. I don't feel like, to be honest, I don't, I don't even think that's worth a complete, to be honest. It's cheap enough to, to do with nothing else, but I'd much rather do some, some of these, to be honest with you. So then we move in to some of the icons. We might as well go through them because there is still quite a lot and they are starting to disappear over the next couple of weeks. So we should see a massive increase in icon SBCs very, very shortly. Like I said, we lost Zidane, we lost Maldini. I think there was somebody else that we lost, but I cannot remember. We have got three days left for Eusebio. Now, the one thing I must admit, I didn't really notice uh, kind of last time. I obviously put Eusebio in the do not complete. If you have already started him, you've got halfway through him, you're three quarters of the way through him, get him done. Do not leave him till the last day and then panic, spend coins, spend money. Just get him done now as quick as possible. Three days left, you haven't got long. But also... I didn't realize last week, to be honest, you could probably have done Hull it in, what, 17, 20 days of proper grinding. But I must admit, 10 days left, I did the same argument for Zidane, for Eusebio, that it isn't worth completing because of how expensive he is. And like, re really, when it comes to it, if you've not started him now, you never had an intention to start him. So I will put Hull it in this bottom category now as 10 days left for two and a half mil is going to be very difficult with the amount of non-packs that we've got unless you are opening promo packs, which, to be honest, I don't want you to do. I, I do like the promo packs at times, but I don't particularly want people spending 30, 40 quid on a game that is what it is at this point. Where we look at the other, the other uh, Icon SBCs, I feel like a lot of them were decent value-ish. I don't think Bobby Moore was worth completing in my eyes. And to be honest, I don't even think Keane was worth completing. I think he's decent in what he is, but I, I just don't think he's worth the extra, what, 200,000 coins, even though it's necessarily not crazy. I just don't see him as an any viable option as a left back or a centre mid. Naturally, you're going to put him in centre mid. I would never put a Keane as left back. He just doesn't work that way. Whereas most of the rest, you've obviously got Luis Hernandez. You've got Suka. Trezor Gabe's actually quite a nice one. Decent value. They're maybe not must completes, but at the very minimum, they are good value for what you're getting back. If you just want icons that are in a different position, potentially, and just an upgrade of themselves... It's not awful. It definitely isn't. Which left Del P and also our man Ian Wright. So in terms of Ian Wright and Del P, you've got both of them. What? Del P's coming in at 600 and Ian Wright's coming in at 620. Now, I don't think both of them are must completes. I think they are good cards. Del P, I would probably say, is under Ian Wright. But in terms of the value of what you're getting for the card that you're getting, they both, I would say, are up there in terms of pricing you're getting a standard good icon for it. So I think for me, you could argue between nothing else to do because both of them are at a point where you couldn't casually do it. But we have got 17 days and 13 days. So I'd go for more good value. Then probably next week when we do it, they'll be in the do not complete as really, you're not going to complete them anyway. We then have the rest of the icons. We've gone and then gone back to the normal. We've got Ashley Cole. For me, I'm not a big fan. And I, I don't care if people disagree with me with that one. I'm not a big fan of the left back. 600k. I would much rather go do an Alfonso Davies at that price. We then have Henri. Again, 
decent value for him, 850. He is a little bit less underneath the must complete now. I think strikers have evolved even again from the team of the years to the road to the final, even to the future stars now. We are starting to see some mega strikers coming forward and Henri's base version is definitely starting to slip under. His Thunderstruck, incredible. I'd probably say the same for Zico as well now, to be honest. When it comes to the Zidans and the Zicos of the world, there's only so much they can do until they need an upgrade. And I do think now we're having that power shift. Carfu, on the other hand, I'm still a massive, massive fan of. 570, an incredible right back that will take you all the way to the team of the season easily. We obviously have the Team of the Year Frimpong that looks one of the best right backs we've seen for a long time in Team of the Year. Trent's very good, don't get me wrong, but I feel like it's the next kind of, what was it, the past right back that had that same sort of effect on like a Team of the Year. I feel like it had to have been someone like a Danny Alves. So Carfu definitely puts himself in a top category. Frimpong definitely smashes that, but I think Carfu's definitely at that second or, or third if you count his Thunderstruck as well. We then have Georgie Best. And also Sauer. Sauer, to be honest, again, when it comes to a center mid, she's only a million coin SBC, which I think now we're kind of desensitized to with the fact that we've had so many one, two, even three million coin SBC that people have completed easily, like genuinely easily. The amount of Hullets, Zidans, and Bappe Eusebios that I've come up against. I'm like, between them, that's like nearly 10 mil of an SBC. And it's the second player of the month, Mbappe, as well. That is absolutely nuts in how much fodder that would actually cost you. So I don't think now a million coins SBC is really that expensive, which is terrifying in itself. But I think for both of them, I wouldn't say they're must, but I'd say they're at least good value for what you get. Georgie Best potentially could be under that. I think he's a good left wing. I've got him in my team. But really, if you've already got, like, a, I've got a base Garincha. Yes, he could play the left wing, which is why I did him, because he can obviously filter through both of them. But I think for me, it was more just the very first SBC with a double play star plus. That's what kind of sold him. Manu Legend as well, which is always good for me, I suppose. But that's what kind of sold him. And I feel like he's good... But is he that good, really? And then we got the brand new Shevchenko. Love this card. Again, strikers are above him already now. But I do think a future star Shevchenko, it was phenomenal. A double play star plus 328,000. I really don't think that's bad at all. He's a 91 upgrade, gone from his 88. Love the triple upgrade. He's managed to get him into a four star, four star as well. That for me is a big dub of a card. If your team's looking like this, then I have the place for you. Head over to U7Buy for all your coin needs. They're cheap, fast, and reliable. But make sure to use JT11 at the checkout for 6% off all of your coin orders. And then we have the players. So we have got the list right here. So we've got all the way from team of the year. So if we go down, you're looking at 820 for Bruno, same for Alfonso, just shy of 500 for Morgan. You're looking at 560 for Conte, Dabinas 180, 700 for Saliba. We then have Kimmich at 390, 300 for Martinez, 970 for Tevez, 47 for Coates, and then Pina, 170, and Pedro Neto at 104. I think the value is definitely spread across team of the year, road to the final, future stars. Now, most of them, I think when we look at the team of the years, we've got seven days left for Bruno, eight, nine for obviously Davies and also Morgan. Uh, 13 days, we've got seven hours for Dabina questionable to be honest now i feel like we already made our mind up straight away saliba's got himself two days left still enough 700k isn't a crazy sbc it's still probably quite difficult from absolute zero but it's definitely doable still if you're going over the two mil mark maybe not as much we've got two days left for kimmich uh, 18 days for tevez four days for coats and then the rest have got a decent amount of days now tevez I'm, a, I'm just going to do it straight away. I, I personally don't think he's worth doing at this point in the game. I, I just, with the strikers that we've got, I'd rather go do Shevchenko for the cost. The cost comparison between the two. We already had a Martinez at two, what, 200, 300k. That's going to be a potential upgrade card. It doesn't mean he can, and it doesn't mean it's going to be right now, which is always fair enough. But both 90, both potentially a very good striker going forward. But Martinez is definitely great value for him. I think 300k for a chance of an upgrade, even if he doesn't get a team in a season. I don't know how. I think 
I'm pretty sure he's the leading goal scorer in Serie A as well. So he's bound to get one of them. But say he gets all the way to the final. That is going to be a well worth card. And to be honest, I think Kimmich is worth it as well. The bank on the potential that either they don't get an upgrade... Whether they do is, is going to be down to EA. Team in the season, I don't know how well Kimmich individually is performing. I know Bayer Leverkusen has taken a lot of the spotlight at the moment. So whether he does, I would like to think he probably does. Failing that, he's got the community. Failing that, he's got another SBC and an outer performance promo. There's going to be loads of chances to see them before we get to the Champions League final. But when it comes to upgraded cards, I absolutely love them. Coats at 47,000 as a chance of an upgrade, I would 100% do. Just the fact even if he doesn't upgrade, 47,000 for an 88 is definitely worth the grind of what you're going to get. I do think he's a must complete, mainly for fodder, unfortunately, but that just is what it is. Now we've got the team of the years. Now, I always am very, very critical for them. And to be honest, I'm, every time I see them, I'm kind of thinking, okay, I can see the value in them now a lot more. I still don't think Bruno is a must complete. But when I kind of started looking at the value, it was like 1.2, 1.3. I don't think he was quite worth that. But now he's down to 8.30 in terms of inflation price. I mean, I'm not going to say no to him. He has got seven days left. I might even complete him. Conte on the hand. Again, another great valued card at 550 looks much better. The only problem you've got is there's constant petite CDM coming out. You've obviously got a lot of center mids that are coming through. We did get the FC Academy midfielder, but you did have to pay for that evolution. So it's a question of whether you're going to pay for it or not. But I do think he's good value as well. Now, Alfonso is a funny one because I do think he's absolute top level. Yes, I don't think he compares to Teo Hernandez team of the year. The price difference is massive. Like Teo's still coming in. We got to we got to see this. He is still coming in. If if it's gonna let me search it, that would help. There he is. He's coming in at a whopping five point three million coins. Now that is just extortionate, crazy amount of price. I cannot wait till they drop. But if we do look just as a little comparison between what we're paying eight hundred eighty k for. Five star, four star, already one better. Pace is similar. You can't really argue with 99. Shooting wise, I don't really care. Dribbling wise, or passing in fact, you've got 87. It's fair enough. You've got a little bit more crossing, a little bit more short pass. Long pass is still down for both of them. We've got a more agility balance on obviously Alfonso. He can play more left wing back, left mid, left back. You can choose between them. Obviously the composure, a plus four. It's a decent comparison, but it's not necessarily breaking the bank. Defending is where Teo and obviously physicality is where he absolutely jumps down his throat. That is a fair enough. But if you was to go for just a sentinel for him, 86, 87, it's still good enough. So I think I'm going to revert my choice and say, Alfonso, if you've not already got a Furlan Mendy dynasty slash Centurion, if you've not done a back or a Havertz and don't want the upgrade, then fair enough. But I would say he is probably more of a must complete. Alex Morgan, on the other hand, I'm still sticking with my guns for her. I'm going to say she's had nothing else to do. I like a winter wildcard. I think it is a nice upgrade onto the 92. I just don't think it's worth a great value in comparison to four 500k extra. Saliba, on the other hand, a good centre back. He's what? When? When? How long has he got? He's got two days, was it? He's got two days left. Seven hundred k. I still think he's a decent value. When it comes to an SBC from a centre back, he's definitely not a bad value. He's got the right body type. His prem French defending's up there. Physicals up there. He's got the anticipate. I want to say anticipate one of the perfect play style pluses i think he is a top center back to be honest I'd, I'd even probably go must complete if you've got two days to go and you've already got a virgil you've already got a team of the year and you need that second center back he definitely is the one to go for it to be honest and then we have two relatively cheap sbcs which is nice i've done both of them pedro neto great value 100k for an 88 potential evolutions later on down the line I'm talking a little bit later as well, but he is absolutely on fire when it comes to it as well. I believe you could have evolved him already if you chose the same route to an 89 already, which a couple of times you could have. Whether you've done that same route, it, it all depends. Uh, you, you'd never be able to, t to tell the future, unfortunately. But the 88, 105, great value in my opinion. I think that is a phenomenal one. It is a shame that he's in a little bit higher. Maybe they could have gone with a 90 as well, just to kind of overtake that evolutions because if you've already got the 89 
why would you have wanted to do the 88? It's, you already know the evolution's a, a thing. With Finisher being the last one, it means it's been out for at least, what, a month at the very minimum. Whereas we do have Pina then, 90 rated, 200 and what, 205k was it? 170k. Again, I think that's phenomenal value from what you've already got. Hansen, you've obviously got the Nigerian striker. Rolfo that needs an upgrade. Bon Matti, team of the year. Centurions, Inform. Putielis, team of the year. Just even a base card is fantastic. And then, I want to say it's Patrice or Patria, the UCL 91. There's a phenomenal midfield you could go with that Liga F Barca team. So I'm going to say great value for her. To be honest, both of them could be argued for a must-complete for a future extra collection builder. But great value nonetheless.